The National Restaurant Association's Restaurant Performance Index in July was 100.8, a decrease of 0.5%. Restaurant operators reported softening in same-store sales and traffic conditions, while their expectations for overall conditions six months out did edge up a bit. Regarding restaurant operator capital spending in July, 67% of restaurant operators reported making a capital expenditure over the past three months. And 67% also reported an upcoming anticipated capital expenditure over the upcoming six months. Regarding restaurant industry employment in July, the industry did regain 74,000 jobs, but it's important to keep in mind that overall industry employment remains down by 635,000 position compared to the pre-pandemic level. That's a substantial drop of over 5%. Regarding wholesale food price inflation in July, that index continued to move up, now running at a 15.8% rate year to date. This is the highest inflationary environment for wholesale food prices since 1974. Not surprisingly, certain commodity groups are posting extraordinary gains for example, eggs, butter, potatoes, fresh vegetables, chicken, and beef. Regarding restaurant menu price inflation in July, that index now is running at a 7.1% rate year to date. Basically, menu price inflation, although high by historical levels, remains substantially below what's going on with grocery store price inflation which clocked in at a higher 10.6% rate. Meanwhile, overall inflation was 8.3% rate year to date through July. So in sum, restaurant performance index 100.8, a decrease of 0.5%. Restaurant industry regained 74,000 jobs. Wholesale food price inflation at 15.8% year to date through July and menu price inflation at 7.1%. And don't forget, for additional information, visit our website, restaurant.org. Thank you.